Hey, what's going on? So here we are back in the Unreal Engine 5 demo value the agents. Now, one of the cool things that I noticed when playing this game for the first time or this demo for the first time is the way they switch the maps. Now, originally I thought they had some kind of trigger volume that just switched the levels. So whenever I actually started messing around inside the editor, I was looking for the level. Well, turns out they actually they actually don't have another level. It's the same level, but they're using something that's called data layers, which is new in Unreal Engine 5. So let me show you real quick what I'm talking about as far as what I saw that was really cool. So basically, it's from going from the daylight world to the dark world. So let's go over there and press the ball, the, the blue, the blue ball and interact. And this is it right here. Now it, it loaded. So that's why I thought I was like, okay, so it's probably switching to another another level. But no, this is the same exact level, but it just loaded a different section of it, another layer of it, which is super cool. So yeah, let's uh, check out the rest of this thing real quick. And this is in 4K, 60p. And it runs a lot more smoother because I packaged it up. This is not in the editor, this is the actual package. So it runs really nice. It's pretty sweet. All right, let's see what this looks like and then we'll go to the editor. Okay, so let's get out of this and let's go to the editor. Okay, so here we are in the actual editor in Unreal Engine 5. And as you can see, like I showed you all, it's not there and it's not a level either. So to turn that on, go to Windows, Data Layers, and this is similar to Photoshop. <laughs> it's kind of cool. So you have all your layers here now. So if I turn off the camp Campfire Replace, I'll hide that and then unhide the Dark World, you'll see it. It's amazing. I mean, I love this dark world. It's so cool. And I'm probably going to rearrange some stuff in here just to change it up a little bit. But yeah, this thing is so cool. But the problem you're going to run into if you're trying to make a movie in here right now with the movie render queue or uh, sequencer is this. I will show you real quick. So if we go to content, I have an assassin that I got from the marketplace. I'm just going to drag and drop him here. This, this character looks really good, actually. I think it's on sale today. I think Epic is having like... 70% off sale right now. So I'm going to put him right here. And let's create a new cinematics. All right, and then I'll go... Oop, not that one, sorry. Add this, we're going to click him. Add the assassin, create a camera. And watch what happens. I'm going to remove him from that T-post. He should have some idle. Type in idle right here. Yeah, this this freaking assassin looks good. So he's got one right there. And let's go to our focus here. Boom. Let me save it just in case. So now if I render this out, go to cinema cinematics, and I'll render this thing here, and I'll just press render local. I'm not going to change anything. You're about to see what happens. Okay? As you can see, it's still rendering out the daylight portion of it, which is not what you want. You want it to look like this. Texture streaming pull over. Oh, what's new? What's new? Unreal. What is new? So go back to the movie renderer and the sequencer. We want it to show this, the dark world. All right. And to fix that, you go to the data layers. Now, I don't know if this is the official way of doing this, but the way I learn things is I just get in here and start clicking stuff and breaking things, right? So if I go to the camp, campfire replace, and I'm going to roll this down so you can see it a little bit better. 
Initial state, change it to unloaded. For the dark world, change it to activated. And now render that same exact scene. There you go. Now we have the dark world and you have the assassin in front of it. Super cool. All right, so as far as the, the data layers, you can create one if you want. So there you go, data layer. And what we'll do is, is like I said, it's kind of like really like Photoshop. So I'm going to go get some mega scan assets, 3D assets. Sure, I'll just use this. And let, let me get out of the cinematic viewport. Let me go to the world outliner. And let me just, there. To trans transport to that. I'll put the burning wood here and I'll go back to the data layers and if I click on a data layer or right click on it I can add that wood to that data layer and I can turn it off and on which is kind of cool and what I'm hoping for in the future is in the demo there's a loading screen maybe one day we can have like an opacity slider here so we can animate the world changing from the daytime world to the dark world without having a loading screen. I'm thinking cinematics. I know, I know, Unreal Engine Five is a game engine, but just the, just the things that come come up whenever I'm in here. That's for a movie, you know, because that would be cool. Let's say we have this assassin walking, daytime, and then it just transitions to the dark world using like a slider here somewhere. That would be really, really cool without any type of blueprint. We're talking sequencer here, but yeah. That's pretty much it. Just a really quick tutorial on the data layers in Unreal Engine 5. And guys and girls, we are almost at 30,000 subscribers. Like I told you, my goal was 30K at the end of 2021. So help me get 30K so I can finally go to sleep because what day is it today? So you want to make a movie in Unreal Engine 4 using the new MetaHuman characters but don't know how to do it. Well, I got the video just for you.